<laughs> For some players, the journey to the top can be more difficult in comparison to other players. But no matter how easy or difficult the journey is, in order to get to the absolute top, you have to be willing to make some incredible sacrifice. And I want to present to you what it took for this new Arsenal man to get to where he is today. For that, we have to travel to Ghana. 1993, Thomas Partey was born into a very humble family. His mother was a trader by the day selling small items in the market and his dad was the coach of the local team in his hometown. Young Senegal, as his dad loves to call him, he was clearly more talented and more physically gifted than most kids and players around his local area and that allowed him to dream and dream big. Dream about playing in Europe and his parents started to believe that as well. Early in his career, his parents decided that his best chance to become big was to send him to Europe but financially that was just impossible for the family so they tried to borrow money from family, friends or any other sponsors that could help them through loans or anything in, in order to send Partey on a trip to Europe where he can go on trials and display his talent. Well, it turns out that no one really believed in Thomas outside of his family and they couldn't raise any money. But Thomas Partey did not give up. He kept grinding and grinding and became a standout player for his team in Ghana so much so that a local agent wanted to sign him up. This came as a surprise to Thomas because when he spoke to Marker, he said he wasn't even the best player on their team. This striker was much better, he was getting all the goals. But that player did not want to go to Europe, he wanted to become a legend here in Ghana. So then Partey was the next best available option for this agent. And well, long story short, the agent signed Thomas and this is how their first conversation went. The agent asked Thomas what he wants out of football and the answer was very simple to him. I want to help my family. Then the agent asked to meet Thomas's dad in order to take him to Spain for a trial. Never mentioned which team though and never mentioned how much it would cost to get there. And just to pause the story here. As you can imagine, sending your child to a different continent for a trial, which could be with any team, it could be a team in the third division in Spain, and even there, there's no guarantee that Thomas will get on the team. As, as much as he is talented, the, the people there might not like him. So it's a very, very big risk to spend all that money, send him to a different continent for a trial, which could, you know, end up bad. So that decision would be a very difficult one for anyone, unless you're from the Partey family. This was the only way to change his life and their family life forever. So back to the story. There was no way in hell Partey's family was going to let this opportunity slip. And this is where his father really became a hero. Any prized possessions that his family had in his home, his dad sold. And that was all to get that visa and the football boots that Partey needs so his son can go and achieve his dreams. And guess what? His dad never told Thomas until later on when he actually made it, that he made that sacrifice. He just made it happen as dads do. Incredible. And in 2012, Thomas Partey left Ghana with his agent without telling his family, which, you know, their fam apparently his family had some problems and some stress going on and it was too much to deal with at the time knowing that their son is going to move to Spain. So he went to Spain all alone without anyone knowing. Madrid and the rest is history because today this is Thomas Partey. This was your boy G Alex. I'm out.